Hello, North Coast. Welcome to our Daily Dose. I want to tell you about a person that it just really drives me crazy, right? They make me count to 10. They, they annoy me. It's they just get under my skin, you know? They, like, make me just want to, like, ugh. But I'm not going to do that because that's one of the things that I can do to love that person. I don't know if you've ever been there, but we all have that one person that makes us feel that way, you know, and the Christmas is coming up, family's getting together, and we all have that one person that we just kind of dreaded a little bit. We're like, oh man, here we go. That conversation, that person, right? That topic. So I know that that's out there. And today in the Daily Dose, I want to talk a little bit about how do we love people that we can stand? Or how do we love people that are hard to like, right? My name is David Garcia. I am the Associate Pastor for Spanish Ministries here at the North Coast Campus in Vista. Thank you for joining us today. So I've been wrestling with this, this piece of the Bible that says that we have to love God and we have to love our neighbor. Right? I'd much rather that piece say, love God and be civil with your neighbor. But no, it's the word love. And love is this big concept, you know? It's like there's feelings involved, there's emotions involved, there's like a lot of things that go with love that you guys see in the movies and, and you experience through life. But I think the biggest thing about love is to know, is knowledge, is the idea of, of, of loving something that I know. I cannot love something that I don't know, right? So there's a piece important there because God is love and so much God loved us that he gave us his son, Jesus, because he knew exactly what we needed in the right moment. So he gave us a gift when we least deserved it. And now we are his ambassadors. We have to do the same. Now we have to go into Christmas meetings with our family, with our friends, at work, anywhere, in any season, not just this season. And then we have to bear that good gift, right? So like, first we need to know, for to know is to love, and God is love. He loved us because he made us. You see, I think that is what this passage means right here. To love your neighbor, the good ones and the hard ones, is to understand them. It's take the time to hear their story, where they come from, where they've been. And once we understand that, then we know how to step into a conversation with them. We know the right time. We know the right moment. We know the right words. We can become advocates for them. We can help them navigate the room and we can help the family and we can create an ambience of love because we know this person. We know what they need. We play the role a little bit of Jesus. We, we come into our lives and we know that they might not deserve that kind of love. They might not deserve the time for you to sit there and get to know them, but you give them the time. You give that to them and they can see Jesus through you. So as we go through this season, of Christmas, right? We we're talking about this incredible gift that was given to us in Jesus. I want to encourage you to take that gift, bring it with you everywhere you go, stepping in every situation, not in a reactive way, but in a proactive way. Prepare yourself for the holidays. Think about your family and start praying for them right now. For that one person that is hard, just start praying for them and go, God, how can I love this person in this season? Then think about yourself. Pray for yourself, for God to prepare your heart to be ready for the season. And the last thing, once you have done all those things, then put it into practice. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in this season. Pray at all times for everyone and give everyone the gift that has been given to you, even when they don't deserve it, because that's the way it was done for you. It's the way it was done for me, and I'll see you on the next Daily Dose.